preventing plastic pollution. Senate Bill 54 is helping ensure that packaging waste is recycled, according to California's Recycling and Climate Goals. And joining us this morning to talk about the bill is Rachel Maki Wagner with Cal Recycle. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to be here again. <laughs> okay, I know this can sometimes be a large ask, but let's take a bill that is pages long, like <laughs> SB 54, yes. and go ahead and summarize it for us. You bet. So SB 54 passed a couple of years ago, and it's really an important piece of legislation for recycling and for waste reduction for California, which Californians have been demanding for years. So SB 54 requires that every piece of single-use packaging sold into California is 100% recyclable uh, by 2032. So we are working to make those that a reality. And, and this is an interesting development in the sense that uh, you're really shifting the focus from consumers to companies now. That's exactly right. So uh, manufacturers of single-use products and packaging will be required to now manufacture their products to be recyclable. Californians have long been frustrated by the fact that they put something that they think is recyclable in their blue bin and then it uh, doesn't end up getting recycled. In the United States, our recycling rate is uh, just under 9% of what goes into our recycling stream. So we want to do better. 50%, a clear 50% of what we're sending to landfills today and throwing away is single-use packaging. So it's not even the thing that we're using, it's the thing that, the, that it came in. So this bill really aims to get rid of um, non-recyclable, non-compostable packaging. Okay, and, and realistically, do you think that this will change the way the recycling programs operate or the, just the way that recycling works in general? Oh, absolutely. Um, this is a real opportunity to do what California does best and innovate and create new systems and new uh, types of recycling here in the state of California. Um, we are already seeing new industries come out of this legislation. Um, and again, California is leading the nation in creating the strongest recycling uh, laws for plastic and single use packaging and it's really uh, spurring new uh, ideas and, and innovation. Okay, so this conversation is timely because on Thursday, what's taking place? Yes, so we are having a workshop um, to answer questions um, that come up from our regulated community, from our manufacturers, from the retailers, and it's from CalRecycle's perspective, it is really important to engage uh, with Californians, with our companies that are selling here in California to make sure that we make a program that is really uh, easily implementable and that is truly successful. So we are engaging on Thursday with uh, companies uh, to, to write the rules and the regulations and we're really excited because this is the first major step in uh, making this law a reality. So again, public can attend, but this is not one of those where you'll be able to um, propose questions in the sense of a, a, a Q&A, maybe in a pu traditional public forum. Yes, ex exactly right. That will come uh, later on in the year once the regulations have been adopted next mm -hmm. year and the companies are putting forward their rules. There will be opportunities for direct public uh, engagement. Uh, this is a public workshop, but it might not be as exciting uh, as you might think. It's, it's all about writing the regulations. All right, Rachel Maki-Wagner, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate you. Thanks, Mike. It's so good to be here. Thank yeah, you so much. Good to see you.